Dorn. It's cold out here at night. Why don't you cozy up to the fire here and sit a spell? There's some vittles there if you're hungry. Go ahead and help yourself. I'm not fond of these excursions out on the frontier, but the mine at Spider Bluff is starting to attract some new settlers looking to make a home for themselves. The new riverboat line is bound to bring them in in short order. So Joe back at the land management office asked me to head out and do a survey. Yep. So that's why I'm out here. What brings you out here? Well, hey folks, I hope you're having a good day today. I'm doing well. Things are progressing pretty well here on the Livecraft server. Um, yeah, the land management office is done. Um, it, it seems to be going fairly well. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way things are at. Um, let me have some vittles here. Um... This little farm here isn't uh, really doing a whole lot for me anymore. I am getting some carrots and stuff. And I've been coming up here once in a while, but uh, it really just um, isn't doing much for me anymore. I am going to keep this camp here, though. And I think uh, we're going to be building a, a, a bigger farm here eventually. Um, but to, for right now, though, I want to head back down to the mine itself. And take a look at some of the things that we've got going on. Alright, so one of the first things I've done is I've added this horse trough. And this place here to tie up these horses. And we have a horse in town for the first time. Um, he's doing pretty good here. I need to get him some friends because he's just by himself. And it would be nice to have some of the horses right here. I've also started doing some uh, path work here. You know, we've got this little road here that kind of heads out. Um, this bamboo is really just temporary, just kind of, you know, I, I needed a bunch of sticks. So, uh, yeah, it's it's my stick farm. Um, the path kind of continues around over here. And then heads over to the steamboat. Um, you may have heard that sound. Um, I have uh, been able to get a hold of a couple of villagers here. I'd like to introduce you to a couple of friends of mine. This is old Joe. He is our cartographer and our map maker, and he's basically in charge of the land management office here. Um, I have started to map out what we've got here. You can see the tent up there, the camp. Um, up on the top of the bluff uh, There is the mine office and there's the land management office Then over here you got the steamboat and the dock um, There's still a lot of area that we can uh, Check out here and one of the things that I want to do today is I want to fill out the rest of this map So we got a good good view of what's going on. I'm also going to um, save this map as it is so as we build stuff later on, we'll update the map, but we'll still have the old one as well. Um, there's another friend up here that I'd like you to meet. Doc Emmett Brown. Yep, he's a librarian. He's got a mending book here for two emeralds. That is two emeralds for this mending book. Um, I may have introduced him to Larry. Um, the same way, thing, same way with old Joe here. I... I they both, um, they both got to be really close friends with, with Larry, um, before, uh, being given their possession, or positions here at the, uh, mine. Um, we do have a couple of other friends over here that we are getting ready to, uh, do things with. Um, I haven't named either one of these two guys yet, but we will get them. Uh, this is Larry. Um, Larry's a little grumpy in the morning, um, but there he is. Um, he was a cleric at one point, and uh, maybe one day he will be again, but right now he's he's a zombie. Um, so so Larry gets to, gets to meet friends every once in a while. Um, there, there's nothing creepy about it. I mean, Larry needs to have friends. Don't judge. You know, and and they get they they get better. 
right? You got better, didn't you? I don't have a name for you yet. Um, I really need to to name you. Um, you're still not taking any string. Um, oh, that's because I took your fletching table, didn't I? Hmm, yeah. Um, sorry about that. Um, uh, oh, there it is. We'll go ahead and put that in there. How's that? There we go. Now we can trade some string. And get some more emeralds from you. Oh, that's, that's it. Uh, you, you don't have arrows for sale, which is a bit of a disappointment, but you do have a, a halfway decent crossbow. You'll sell, you'll sell, give me emeralds for feathers. Hmm. Maybe once we get our chicken cooker up and running. And then this guy over here is my farmer. I've been getting pies off of him. I, I, you know, the pies are awesome. I've also been getting uh, bread off of this guy and some cookies um, just so that uh, we can kind of keep things organized here. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We uh, dropped some emeralds over here. Okay, so you, okay, did you level up? Yes! Golden carrots! <laughs> Golden carrots. Okay, so now that we can get those, th that's basically what I was trying to get was the golden carrots. Um, but I also want to give these guys this because I want them to make me some more villagers. Um, I want them to be happy. So that, uh, we get a nice group of villagers. So we're starting to liven up the town just a little bit. I I need to get me a steamboat captain. Um, and I need to... Uh, whoa! Hey, fella! Welcome to town. You're a sheriff. Uh, or a marshal or a deputy. You will be quite useful. Um, we need to think about some more buildings here. Um, and we need to get, uh, you know, I'm thinking maybe a billboard here would be nice of some sort. Not sure what should be on the billboard yet. But, uh, I think a billboard would be pretty cool there. Um, I, uh, there's some other buildings I want to do. Uh, a jail, a saloon. I'm trying to decide where all of this stuff is going to go and fit properly. And I'm really not sure. Um, I think what I really need to do is I need to finish out these docks. And then I need to finish plotting out the roads. And then from there we can start planning out where the rest of the buildings are going to be for the town. Um, because right now we're just kind of winging it a little bit. And with the land management office now open, you know, it, it's time for some planning. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get some of that done. Um, I'm actually going to go to sleep here real quick. And then once we've got uh, more of the roadway set up and uh, got things situated with that, um, we'll start doing a little bit more planning. Um, so I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, so here is the map of the area that we are working with. Um, this isn't zoomed in at all. Um, I am missing a little bit here in this corner and a little bit here on this corner. But uh, I think that is where we're at. Um, it might be kind of nice to fix this river so that it actually goes all the way through. Um, that would be kind of cool. Um, we will probably end up having to clear out some of this area over here uh, for town. Um, I wouldn't mind having a lighthouse or something up there. 
to the farm here and then I'm not sure where else we can build. Um, I'm thinking saloon here, um, hotel, um, we're gonna want a warehouse, uh, we need a general store which could fit in here. It, it, it might actually fit here. You know, we might be able to get both the saloon and the general store in this square right here. Um, and then maybe do the warehouse here. Because uh, I want the, I want the warehouse close to the docks. But uh, I think I want the saloon and the... Um, in the general store closest there and then maybe jail um, we do have space over here and then we have this area here which we can probably do something with we've got this little road that kind of connects the docks to the mine um, we'll need a road that goes up the hill here um, most of this area here is pretty rugged, so I'm not sure how well we can really, you know, what all we can do with that. We'll have to see. Um, I would like to make a bandit camp. Um, maybe down over here somewhere we could do like a bandit camp. Or maybe, you know, maybe the bandit camp goes like down here and, you know, we fix this river. So that it goes all the way through. Um, there's the water tower. So I think we are in pretty good shape there. Um, let's go take a look at the roads. So for the most part, they are still just the path blocks. Um, which I'm okay with for now. Um, we will uh, kind of mix those up here as uh, you know as things go on. Um, but yeah, let's see. If I can... So what you would do is you'd come down off, you'd come off the boat, and right across the street would be the saloon, which will also be the hotel. So maybe saloon and hotel here. And then we do general store here. The general store and we can do the warehouse behind it. You know, because we can have a you know, come up here, yeah. So general store and warehouse. Saloon? Ooh, excuse me. Saloon and hotel. Uh, today, today was uh, the changeover for daylight saving time, so I'm still a little sleepy. Which uh, we'll go ahead and sleep for a second. There we go. And then, hmm, I don't know here. Maybe another couple of small shops or something. We, like I said, we do need the jail. We need delivery stables. Um, maybe those could go over here. We could take this road over t across the river and into that hill there. Um, we do have our spider farm right up there. So that might be a way to get us a road up to the spider farm. Hmm. We'll have to see. The, the, the biggest challenge with this biome is that the terrain... Ouch. ...is not very flat. I mean... get up here a little ways. I'm 
mean, we have some space there. We do have some space here, but pretty much anything that we would want to build would require us to tear out a lot of this. You know, which kind of defeats the purpose of it a little bit. Um, we could probably open this up and then use this over here as an extension of the town. Um, looks like I've got some hanging trees there. This, this area here has kind of been my makeshift tree farm. So yeah, I think we can do that. I got the dock started. Yeah, we could definitely cut this out here and level it off, um, which might not be a bad idea. It would also allow me to kind of change up the road a little bit. Um, yeah, so I think that'll work out. You know, we're, we're kind of doing the foundation work right now, you know, for, for this entire town, which was kind of what the land management office was all about. Um, oh, Jerry Andrew needs some help. So, Cosmocraft created a, a, uh, a maze that uh, all of us are kind of going through. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> to, <laughs> and it looks like Jerry Andrew's a bit stuck. Um, I will be doing that later. I'm not going to go spoil anything right now. <laughs> Cosmo is a monster. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, but uh, you'll see that in a future episode once I um, take on that maze challenge myself. Um, <laughs> I'm totally scared of this maze that he has put together. <laughs> but I am looking forward to giving it a try. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to go... Um, I, I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this episode here. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, until next time, you guys have a good one. Goodbye.